Hi, everybody. How you doing? This is Coach Frank Bezerk, and today we're in the dungeon, of course, as always, and we're going to go over backhands. So we want to talk briefly about backhands, the couple different ways that we do them, the reason why we do them, depending on how fast the ball uh, comes, is really the biggest issue. If I sound a little bit labor on the breathing on occasions, I apologize. Just some medications and stuff we're going through. No biggie. So, first of all, let's talk about glove position. Just like we've talked before, we want to find a nice athletic position. Our feet are just underneath our uh, knees and basically armpits, shoulders, or just a smidge wider. You don't want to be too wide. You don't want to be too short. So, when you're in a fielding position, pitch is getting ready to get thrown, boom, we pop down, hands are up, glove and hands. This way, we can do many different things, backhand. Uh, we went over in another video catching down here, or excuse me, fielding, or if we need to come over and make a fielding play this way. So today we're talking about backhands, so let's get into it. So one of the first uh, backhands I want to talk to, think about if a slow roller is kind of coming to you. So I'm at shortstop, it's between me and third, so I'm heading over there, it's nice and slow, so I have plenty of time to set up. So what I want to do, if the ball's coming, I want to get over, get myself in position. I want to throw over to first base that way. So I'm going to round over, I'm going to get a good posture. So I'm bending at the knees, flat back, glove out here by my front foot. My feet, I've already got in a line to go where I'm throwing. It doesn't make sense to come over here and backhand this way and I'm facing, let's say, third base, and then I gotta try to throw over there. It's a lot of extra work and uh, it's just tough to do. That's where errors are gonna come into play or you flat out just don't have a shot at the other player. So again, slow roller, I'm in ready position, ball's coming over. I know I wanna throw that way. I sit down, bent knees, glove out, and I work towards the ball to the chest, pull, and throw, okay? So that is if we're getting a slow roller. Let's let's say we have uh, one that's a little, little bit quicker shot. So we don't have as much time to get our feet set all and roll over there. We've got to get ready for it, okay? So let's say it's a hot shot hit to me. I don't even get to move much, okay? I'm in, I'm in ready position here. Ball's coming. I only have a chance to step back. So this is a step back, backhand. I step back. If you notice, my feet are still in alignment. I'm squatting. I'm down. Good position. Arms bent a little bit. Boom. Field it together and throw and follow my throw uh, to first base. So uh, that's with a little bit quicker shot, but it's not a real fast shot yet. Okay. That one might be one that's got a a big bounce to it, and we have time to get to it. So we run over, boom, fire, and throw, okay? Don't stand tall on it. Don't bend at your back. And another thing I haven't said yet is make sure that we continue to keep our glove at a good position so we're ready to feel, okay? We definitely don't want any rainbows. So if you don't keep your glove low, or if you're in a habit of going for a backhand and you do this, it's a lot of waste of time, a lot of waste of effort. You're going to miss balls. Keep it low and across, okay? So, again, we've got a backhand now where we got a quick, a quick shot coming to us. Pitch you get ready to throw. Hands down, we're ready. We don't have a lot of time to do a whole lot except to get over – Field, bring it, and throw, okay? In that case, in a hot shot, there's a good chance, as I've told you in the other ones, slow roller coming to us, butts down, legs are aligned, out, ball, throw. We've had time to get our legs up. Even the one that's got a good hop to it, we're ready. Boom, big hop. Back here. Eyes behind the ball, right here, throw, legs were in line. This one's a hot shot, so we don't have a whole heck of a lot of time to do it. We're down, 
We're ready. Knees bent, back straight. Boom, that ball's coming quick. Boom, and now my legs are facing the opposite direction of where I want to go. Now I need to scoop, hands, right foot, left foot, break, and throw, okay? So you're going to have to work footwork in there. We'll work on some of that, but it's stuff you can work at home, okay? So, again, slow roller, hands are down, good position. We turn. Oh, excuse me. Do that again. Forgot where I'm at. I lost my way for a second. All right, hands down. Ball's coming. I need a backhand. So we're going to get in position here. Catch it by the front foot. Scoop out, break, throw. We've got kind of a high bouncer. So we're going to step back. Hands are ready. Boom. Step back. Feet are in line where we want to go. See the ball come in. Chest, break, throw. Okay. Now we've got the quick shot. The quick shot, again, you don't have time to get your feet around and ready. Quick shot. Boom. We're facing the wrong way. Ball. Right foot, left foot, and throw. So I know this video is a little bit rough, uh, but it gives you um, basically the footwork and what we're going to work on, or if others are watching this, what you can work on for your back hand. Again, important, make sure your hands are low. I'd say no higher than your belly button. That way we're not bringing our back hand over here. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay? All right, this is Coach Frank Bezerk. We'll talk to you soon. Practice hard, play fast. Most importantly, have fun.